The first step to solving this ex equation would be to square both sides. And by doing that, we are getting rid of that radical. So we'll be left with x squared minus 4x minus 5 on the left-hand side. And on the right-hand side, if we expand 2x minus 10 squared, we will get 4x squared uh, minus 40x. And I'm getting that by just combining uh, <clears throat> negative 20x and negative 20x again, uh, plus 100. Next step would be to mo move everything over to the same side of the equation. So to do that, I'm going to subtract x squared, add 4x, and add 5 to both sides. So that'll cancel everything over here. And we'll get 0 is equal to 3x squared uh, minus 36x plus 105. Now all of these three terms share a common factor of 3, so I'm just it's basically going to divide everything, every single term in this equation by 3, just to make it simpler. And we'll get 0 is equal to x squared minus 12x plus 35. All right, now we can factor this guy. So we're going to look for two numbers whose product is positive 35 and their sum is negative 12. Uh, so I'm thinking 7 and 5, 7 times 5 is 35. And then if we make them both negative, then their sum would be negative 12. Great, so this means that we've solved the equation and x is equal to 7 and 5. However, because this original equation involved a radical, we do need to check our answers to make sure that they do actually satisfy this equation. So for the first one, let's test 7. So we'll be taking the square root of 7 squared minus 4 times 7 uh, minus 5. And that becomes the square root of 16, which is 4. And then we'll compare that to 2x minus 10. So that'd be 2 times 7 minus 10. That's 14 minus 10, which is 4. So that checks out. So 7 is definitely a good answer. And then now let's check 5. So we'll be taking the square root of 5 squared minus 4 times 5 minus 5. That actually comes out to the square root of 0, which would just be 0. And then comparing that to 2x minus 10, so 2 times 5 minus 10, that also gives us an answer of 0. So that also checks out. So um, x equaling 5 and 7 is the correct answer, which is the third choice. All right, that's all for this video. Thanks for visiting JD's Preparation.